Hi, this is Peter V. Brett, and I'd just like to share a one-star review of The Warded Man that I found on Goodreads today. <clears throat> Reading this book was like being stuck in a nightmare, where one is forced to repeatedly turn a corner only to see a steaming pile of feces sitting on the ground that you could have sworn you'd seen not five minutes before. I'm Kushiel Stark from Goodreads. I can't because I'm not sick to appreciate children exploitation or a effing voyeur. And then there were some scenes here that probably would leave Christian, idiotic, gray, crying for his blankie. My reaction? Oh, go get some help. Let me tell you how refreshing it is to read a book that has me utilizing my built-in dictionary app once again. So a necromancer has to physically dig up the grave to raise the zombie? I was a little put out by the idea at first. I slowly started to get into the book after the first plot twist, but that's where I lost my connection. It's really hard to be into a book when you didn't know who the hell is speaking. The author hasn't figured out how to use return quotations and can't even throw a girl a he said or she said so that I can at least determine if the protag is thinking or if someone is talking to her. This may be a new form of writing that I'm just not hip to, but either way, I'm not finishing this shit, and I'm getting a refund. Good luck. Hi, I'm Lainey Taylor, bringing you some bad reviews. I tried. At least I can say that. If you value your mental purity at all, stay away from this book. I feel polluted. Now, if you'll excuse me, I'll go console myself with some Tolstoy. Hell, this is the most I've ever wanted to not read a book. Me, I swear, every time I open a goddamn page, it's just awful. I could cry. <laughs> Me too. I was trapped in the car when I started this, so I finished it. Things I would rather have done than read this book. There's like 15 of these, I'll just read you a few. Number eight was... Go to an after-work party in heels while nursing multiple painful blisters. Seven. Go back to being stuck between two huge snoring guys on a 12-hour flight. Number six. Eat cauliflower. And number one. Compete in the 50th Hunger Games. Yes, that is the one with 48 contestants. Thank you. My name is Cassie Brett, and this is a view of my daddy's book, The Wooded Man. This is yet another book with great premise that was ruined by horrible writing. Not only is the writing bad, but it is filled with cookie cutter characters and every fancy stereotype you can think of. I honestly can't see how this was ever published. I'm Kushil Stark from Amazon. This book reads as if it was written by an inexperienced college girl who is majoring in French and watched the story of O too many times. I think this author was trying to use his imagination in throwing too many meaningless, confusing story facts that it was not enjoyable reading for me at all. Or I could not keep any of the children, I would try to read it too, interested in it. At all. And most of the characters, which were too many, they became pointless. How this one anything is beyond me. Passing cat. <laughs> Thank, Thank you, world, world builders. builders.